Senti. Okay, it's to be like you've been open. Welcome to a new season of Rally Zone. We are here in the new forest for a new rally, the Sunseeker. But first, here's Richard to tell you what's coming up. This year, Robbie, the team's championship is only open to front wheel drives. We've got our first Pirelli star driver of the season. Here's one for the ladies, or is that one for the boys? And we're riding the stages of the Sunseeker International and we'll bring you the results of round one. The 2011 Dulux Trade British Rally Championship starts with a new event and the return of a front-wheel drive championship. Over the last couple of seasons, we've all grown accustomed to seeing Molly Taylor. Fantastic car to drive, so enjoying the living races. This year, the daughter of Australian champion co-driver Coral Taylor is driving a Fiesta. And Molly's got some competition for the ladies' title this year with the arrival of 24-year-old Louise Cook fielding a rather older Fiesta on her championship debut. Louise, first time at the Sunseeker. How's it gone so far? All right. It's uh, been my first gravel, um, first recce gravel. So basically, it's been really difficult writing my own notes. So the first three stages went all right. We didn't have an intercom for the first one. Um, second stage has been our best. But um, the last three were really bad. Just really getting used to writing notes, to be honest, really hard. That's not the only part of the rally driving equation that's difficult to get right. But of course it's just one facet of the championship that makes it so attractive to rally drivers who really want to get to grips with their craft. And with the world championship as an ultimate ambition for Louise, she's going about it the right way. But she knows it's a steep learning curve. You're surviving and the car's looking OK. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's not broken or anything yet, so... <laughs> looking forward to the rest of the afternoon? Yeah, because we're going to go loop round and do the first three stages again, and I was happy with those notes, so, yeah, I'm going to push at the end, I think. An engine fault let her down on power for the afternoon, so the late push never happened, but vital miles were covered instead, and now it's on to round two at the Bulldog to try again. 